Michael Berger here with Engel TV. We're here in Los Angeles, North Hollywood, at the Guns N' Roses rehearsals. I'm here with Mick Bob. He is Bumblefoot's uh, guitar technician. He's gonna explain to you uh, his current guitar rig. And um, how long have you been working for uh, Bumblefoot? Uh, about two years now. Two years? Uh, two, two and a half years now. Yeah, you, you've been with uh, GNR for a long time, right? Yeah, back in the... 87, yeah, yeah. was Duff Stuck for uh, quite a few years and uh, good to be back in this camp working for Bumblefoot, having fantastic, a good time. Fantastic, fantastic, that's great. Uh, explain to us, um, how many guitars is uh, Bumble using? Bumble's using run? four electrics now. Yeah. We have a standard six string VGA. Yeah. For, I don't know, probably half the set is in this guitar. Then we have a couple of VGA custom double neck guitars. This one is a six string on the bottom, six string fretless on top. The bottom six string is tuned to uh, half step down with a drop D. And same thing with the fretless. Straight across half step, drop D on that one. Does slide, soloing stuff, a little bit of rhythm stuff up on here. And uh, incredible sounding guitars. This looks pretty fancy. Yeah, that's a little custom tape job by the by the man himself. Yeah. <laughs> little Easter egg. Nice. The second is a, another custom VGA double neck. This six string is basically half step all the way across. Pretty heavy, huh? Must be. They are very heavy. They get a little bit, um, because of the brass uh, yeah. fretboard on the fretless, they tend to get a little neck heavy, so what we've had to do is, at the end of the strap, we've had to put these uh, diving weights, oh. like, the, like the divers use, okay. to uh, balance it out, make the fulcrum point a little, little better there. Those are the three main guitars. We have a nice uh, 89 uh, Sunburst as the backup for the main VGA. That looks beautiful. Yeah. We have Parkwood. Six string acoustic for patients, a couple other things may pop up here and there. Mm -hmm. And he also uses a Godan nylon six string classical guitar. He plays uh, the regular VGA and this one on a stand for If the World. Okay. A little flamenco style picking. <clears throat> then we have the rig. So tell us about. Uh his guitar rig, signal flow, and what, what he's using. Okay. Now. Well, we start up here at the top as far as signal flow goes. Sure, U4D wirelesses uh, into a whirlwind splitter. That sends the signal over back over here to the processing rack. And it's a fairly straight ahead, simple rig we've got going here. Uh, so <laughs> signal flow goes back into, first into the GCX splitter looper and I've got a couple of pedals I'll show you on the back which one is that that goes through a couple of loops back out into the remote wah so we can have different wahs around the stage one at his main position and one out at the, at the thrust he does for solo work and then um, back up into the amp and um, it's really straight ahead then as far as effects goes we get everything we use out of this TC Nova system um, yeah, a little compression, a little bit of noise gate, a little bit of boost, solo uh, delay setting, long long uh, delay setting, and a whammy uh, setting that he uses with his expression pedal at his position. So basically all the effects are coming out of this little uh, TC uh, Nova system unit. Right. And other than that, we just have another uh, separate uh, wireless for the acoustics, my power supplies, and my uh, personal tuning things here. Right. Now the rig, Instead of using cabinets on a stage, 
We're all using isolated speaker cabinets now, which we use right here, right behind me, which is basically behind the rig. And isolated like that, I can barely hear it during the show with my ears in. So. That's great for the stage sound, keep the volume low and everything. Yeah, yeah. it really works, mm -hmm. it really works. The only thing we really have going on stage, of course, is the drums acoustically. And uh, Tommy has a little bass, so you can just feel it. Yeah. Feel it on stage. Right. But everything else, for the most part, is isolated. And, uh, that makes sense. It keeps it quiet. It helps the singer out a lot. And uh, yeah, I see you got the little Gigmaster 15 here, and I'm probably going to use for uh, warm-ups. And uh, yeah, that'll be the uh, backstage amp. Yeah. And uh, we do occasionally do some little, little tiny club dates. It might even come in handy for those uh, sur surprise pop-up gigs that we're known to do. Yeah, for everybody out there, this amp can be run through a 4x12 cabinet, and you can play an arena show. So don't be hesitant. So let's get to the very end yes. of the chain here. On I'd like our, to our ask you, uh, Mick Bob, from a technician standpoint, uh, view, what is what makes these amps special for you to work with these amps? Well, I'll tell you what the main issue is as being a tech. What the what what my favorite part of this is is from a technician standpoint, the rugged ability. They are very dependable. Uh, I've been running the same two amps for the last. Two and a half years, basically, since we started this tour. Mm. I've changed, uh, done the regular servicing, changing the tubes. I've, ch I've changed both amps one time. And uh, the durability, just as a technical standpoint, it, yeah. for me, is priority number one. Secondly, going to more, more towards the artist's point of view, is the versatility of these amps with the four channels from clean to you right. know extremely high gain um, for for a rock band, hard rock band, or even heavy metal, these got to be one of the most perfect amps, I think, uh, out there on the market right now. Versatility, and even inside of the individual four channels, there's versatility um, on power sections going from A to B powered for volumes, high and low gains, and it can be all programmed inside of the same um, preset for whichever channel you're using. And uh, right. versatility is, is my second favorite part of that. And the, obviously the third part of it is my artist likes it, so that makes me happy. Most important. Yeah, most importantly. And, uh, that's great. and then of course on top of that, the service here from uh, Michael and all our friends at Ingle uh, has been outstanding for the last two and a half years. So That's good to hear. Yeah. Thanks. Which is also probably number two for a tech. Yeah. Getting support you need out there on the road or in the studio or wherever you're at is, is very important. So. Do you like the noise gate? Love the noise gate. Mm -hmm. uh, gets rid of a, basically any noise that we've had that we've come up against so far. Mm -hmm. That's great because you guys tour the world. We tour the world. Different lighting, South different America. power. You never know what you're going to run into. Having the yeah. gate in there uh, at the push of a button when you need it or not uh, is really, really a uh, good point. Well, there you have it. Thanks, McBob. No worries. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate Thanks again for the continued yeah. support.